So what's going on everybody? It's your boy QuestX coming back at you once again with another video and yes, good morning, Monday morning for everyone involved. Uh, you know, I took a little bit little bit of a two-day break kind of from doing political videos, needed to kind of recharge my battery. And I also knew I would have plenty of material over the weekend that would, you know, Donald Trump would just he just never ceased to fail. Like I said, he is the gift that keeps on giving. So this latest debacle, which shouldn't surprise anybody, but apparently she still had that segment of the population who believes that this man plays three-dimensional chess. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I actually received a comment on my last video about Donald Trump where someone said to me that Trump is playing 3D chess and all the haters don't see it and 2020 mega <laughs> Jesus Christ where does he find these idiots so he goes to paradise California and uh, <laughs> he he shamefully shamefully like this is how you know he remember I told you he's very linear linear in his thinking uh, there is no foresight there is no planning. He doesn't uh, read. He is not a very learned individual. Um, and, and when I say that, people need to understand that just because you go to a university or you go to private schools, it doesn't matter the, the education that you have because you have a lot of knuckleheads who graduate universities and I've seen them come into boardrooms and are absolutely morons, okay? It does not matter, okay? And, and when we're talking Donald Trump's type of, of family lineage, a lot of these guys who go to those, those, those private schools and those high-up uh, education institutions, they only, A, get in because of their family's money, and they only graduate because of their family's money. A majority of them, not always, not always. So let me be very, very respectful to those that have, have put their nose to the ground and got into these universities and these institutions and have graduated and gone on to be very productive members of society instead of leeches on society like Donald Trump. Um, and he's the worst kind of leech because he's the type of leech that, that uses the actual hard workers of America to continuously peddle his BS. But see, I can go on and on and, and break down who Donald Trump is. We've all done this before. So let's stick to him calling Paradise, California, Pleasure, California. Immediately realizing he screwed up because he forgot where he was. Okay? And he forgot the whole reason of his trip. The fact that for the last week and a half now, people are dying left and right. It's on the news media outlets. How do you get the name of the place in which is being ravaged by all of this? He called it Pleasure, California. And you should have seen the faces of everyone standing next to him. Embarrassment once again. But again, you will have someone tell me on this channel, will come to this video and say to me and claim they will throw out bogus support numbers. They will blow out and say that Trump did that on purpose. He knew the media was going to blow it up. OK, well, then he goes on to Chris Wallace. Oh, my Lord. F you know, his his favorite um, home, State News, for, you know, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not going to call it Fox News. State News. And... He is so transparent. There is no three-dimensional chess with this man, okay? Anybody who sits at a table with him, okay, and can't swindle him out of money is an idiot because this dude, he shows his hand every time. He then starts commenting up. Chris Wallace attempted. And, you know, again, I did a video earlier, and I said to you guys that Fox News, state news, is starting to abandon him, back away from him. And people came to that video and said, oh, no, I don't think so. Well, go and watch that full interview. Watch Wallace, watch his tone, watch the questions he was asking, uh, especially when it came to this admirable admiral that Donald Trump was disrespectfully being gross to because he called, a, called her, him a Clinton backer and an Obama backer. And that he, he again, pedals in conspiracy theory. That's all he does. Everything is very linear. There's, there's no broad thought strokes 
when it comes to him. This is why I said anybody who cannot, I'm telling you, a lot of my finance brothers and sisters, we could get money from this dude. We could literally sit down and probably swindle this motherfucker out of millions because he's a fucking idiot. Okay, he is not bright. He is not intelligent. What he is, is he's a showman. That's what he is. He's a showman. If I came to Donald Trump and I told Donald Trump, hey, Donald, there's this beautiful piece of property and land that I think you'd be in interested in. If I ran down the numbers and the statistics of the neighborhood and what's, what uh, you know properties are moving into the neighborhood, what companies are bringing and putting money into the neighborhood, I bet you any amount of money I could throw out bogus numbers. Okay, and if it was just Donald Trump, okay, let's say it's just me and Donald Trump talking, all right, he didn't have his lawyers, he didn't have financial uh, accountants looking at things, if it was just me and him, I guarantee you I can get this dude to sign over money to me, like it would be nothing, you know why, because he's a fucking idiot, because he's not bright, because everything is a show for him. So he goes on Chris Wallace, I see I got into other things, but he goes into Chris, to, to, to Chris Wallace, this Fox News interview, and he talks about Whitaker, right? When he lashes out, lashes out about the Mueller probe. He talks about, and he's constantly repetitive. Oh, Whitaker is well-respected. Whitaker, Whit Whit Whitaker is loved by everybody. Whitaker is, Whit 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 but then, almost as if he forgot that a week ago, he said he didn't know much about Whitaker. It, it, Again, this is so-called three-dimensional chess for a lot of people. Why do you think he's repeating that? Why do you think he's constantly saying that? Because he knows Whitaker isn't well-respected. He knows that Whitaker is a dirty guy. He knows that Whitaker, the reason why he got Whitaker to be his acting attorney general is to protect him from any sort of subpoenas or any sort of charges that we brought against his family. Like, I mean, come on now. But there's, there'll be people who tell you, oh, no, 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 he's playing three-dimensional chess. He's playing three-dimensional chess. He, he knows that you guys know that uh, he knows that uh, he's going to fire uh, Attorney General, but he's playing with you guys because it's all. It's play if this is what you consider a leader, a strong leader, someone you trust when you lay your head down in your pillow at night to get deals done with countries who have been on record, just watch international news. I, you know what I think I should start doing? I should start doing an international segment as well because I watch all news outlets, okay? They are laughing at us on the international stage. They actually take him as a joke. There was actually a pundit that was talking uh, from a country who said that they laugh at him when he talks. They laugh, it's not, they're not laugh. notice what they're saying. They're not saying, oh, we find him a, a pretty funny guy, and he has the room laughing. They, they specifically say they're laughing at him. His policy, his, his world knowledge of, his, of policy is beyond, beyond elementary. Okay, it's, it's, and, and this, is what you, this is what you elected, okay, you guys who support him, who say that he's, you know, leading the country in a great direction. Okay, and then the fact he uses this bogus thing where, where Wallace pushes on him. See, this is what I said. Fox is starting to get there, and he's too dumb to see it because all he says, and I noticed that he tweeted uh, on Friday, hey, tune in for my interview. Like, this is what he does. He sits around and he watches TV all damn day. He does not do anything constructive whatsoever, okay? Remember that, that leak, that infamous leak that happened uh, uh, a while back where there was somebody who wrote an um, op-ed anonymously and said that they're running the country, not Donald Trump, that they're the ones that are implementing policy, not Donald Trump, this man does nothing but sit around and eat all damn day. He does nothing but sit around and check his Twitter feed all damn day. He does nothing but sit around and watches CNN, okay, and Fox News. This, okay, this is all he does. This is all he does. Notice how he never, never, never goes after the other news networks. It's only CNN. Why? Because that's all he's watching. Okay? He, he, his excuse for missing and not going to see the, 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 the veterans on, on Veterans Day 
and not to honor those that were were gone, you know, in Arlington Cemetery was because he said he was making presidential calls. He was doing executive actions. Yet his Twitter feed would suggest that all he was doing was being on Twitter. Like, he acts as if, oh, look, the, the sky is red. It's not blue. Look, it's, it, look, look, I got him. Look, he's going to say it's red. He's going to say it's red. And then when you say, hey, uh, Donald Dumbass, uh, that, that's blue. The atmosphere is it's blue. No, 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 that's red. That's red. Uh, Donald, it's, it's, it's blue. Ah, I got you, see? See, I got you to admit that it was blue. I said it was blue the whole time. That's Donald Trump, bro. <sighs> it's only Monday. This guy, man. Oh, and, and then he took, oh, his whole Jamal Khashoggi, that poor uh, journalist who was cut up and mutilated and killed uh, at the behest of, of his son-in-law's best friend, the prince of, you know, Saudi. <sighs> I the more that Donald Trump opens his mouth about this incident, the more it sounds to me and anybody of sane mind. But people are never going to say it on public or national television. But I'm going to say it. The more it seems like maybe the prince of Saudi got the go ahead from Trump's to do what they did. Just saying. It's your boy Quest X, and I'm out. Barack Obama had big part of 9-11. Which part? Not being around, always on vacation, never in the office. Why do you think Barack Obama wasn't in the Oval Office on 9-11? That I don't know. We'd like to get to the bottom of that. It could be AIDS. What makes you think she has AIDS? Uh, the way her uh, husband used to be. So you think Bill had AIDS? Yes. So how did Bill Clinton get AIDS? Probably messing around with uh, Magic Johnson. That's the natural conclusion?